How to create video NFT. Hi there, you guys. In this video, I'll be telling you how you can create or edit your own video for you to upload it on OpenSea over here as an NFT. Well, if you haven't or if you don't know already, you guys, videos are selling as NFTs. Well, you can go ahead and search some of the examples here or some of the samples here on OpenSea. There are videos that are selling for like a thousand dollars and some people have already have like um, have, um sold a video of some popular memes on the internet like for example charlie bit my finger video if you haven't like heard of the news it sold for about eight hundred thousand bucks that's a lot of money you guys and there are a lot more videos out there that are like sold for for example this one 1.4 eth that's a lot of money if you're making or selling a video from scratch now to create your own nft content or to create your own video as an nft content you first need to have like a good video a video that will surely get the attention of the buyer so the first thing that you need to do before editing anything else is make sure that you have that kind of video and to give you an idea on what type or what kind of videos or file types is allowed to be uploaded here let's go ahead and click that right there as you can see i, I clicked on create and of course, before we go ahead and try to create an NFT listing, we need to like integrate or log in using our wallet, crypto wallet, which is in this case, I'm using a MetaMask because it's the most popular and the easiest one to use. Okay, so let me just go ahead and wait for that to log in. And now once we're logged in, we'll be able to see this particular dashboard over here. Now let me go, so go ahead and sign that and here we go now the reason i'm showing this to you guys is so that you can see what kinds or what file types are you allowed to upload here on OpenSea? now you can see here you can upload an image a video audio or even like a 3d model of something or like a 3d mod model of something in real life that's really cool but for this one we're talking about videos as a content now you can see here there are a couple of file types that is available for you to like or that is okay for you to doubt to for you to upload we have your mp4 for video webm and a lot more different types and it shouldn't exceed 100 megabytes you guys so basically we will go and work the video according to this criteria over here now what you want to do next is to try and open a video editing site or if you have a video editing software in your computer or your phone that will do as well as you can as long as you can import and export videos right off the bat right there so now i already done it i already like made some i already tried to export to import a video right here well this one i got it off of the internet but if you have your own video that's a lot better this one is like free free videos just for um just for you to guys just for you guys to see the process of making one or like editing one well this is this is really a no-brainer you guys who just want to make sure that all the formats or all the things that the right here that this criteria supports basically you just need to go ahead and try to make it with your video over here now once you're satisfied with the duration of your video like for this video it's over 28 seconds that's still kind of long for me so let me just go ahead and try to make like a 15 second video for this tutorial just so it will um yeah it will export a lot faster there you go all right let me just delete that one more time oh why oh is, it's not deleting what's wrong oh right should be that one i don't know anyway once it's done and once it's cut you just had to make sure to export it the way you want to or in any of these file types we're working on with a video so i think the safest file type for you to go is mp4 so just go ahead and export that now it's exporting you guys 
And one more thing to note is that when you're uploading a video, you should be ready to upload a couple of one photo only to be uh, to, to be exact one photo you only need one photo as a preview of your particular video nft now i think i'm done with the and it's it's saved right here i think i'm done with that now let me just go ahead and try to upload it right here it's already done exporting and as you can see it's already playing right here and it's required, like what I said, to upload an image, like a preview image for your video NFT. That way, your potential buyers can actually see what's inside your video even before trying to think about like buying them or what. Now for that, I'm going to go ahead and pick that because, yeah, basically this is an image I took from this one. And then after everything is set, you can go ahead and name your nft so let's just put in whatever kind of name you want here well i'll just go ahead and type in night yeah because it's, it's night and the description and external link also it's your choice if you want to put it right here but i want to show you guys something really important over here when listing your nft nft you should be able to like evaluate your nft according to its properties according to the levels and stats these you guys are concepts that you really need to understand when you are trying to list or when it's your first time listing your nft if i were you i should go ahead and do my due diligence before trying to dive into this um, type of business so guys properties is important this allows your potential buyers or this allows you as well to um, evaluate how rare your nft is if you guys didn't notice rarity or how rare the nft is really important when it comes to like owning it and then selling it at a higher price the rarer your nft is the more chances that it's actually going to like pay for more you guys and this is one of the ways of how you can go ahead and try to make the rarest out of your nft um, choose some types and choose some names that are really unusual and of course if you want to do that start with a content start with a video nft that's totally unique you guys and totally interesting i don't want to be wasting my time like of course uploading this stuff because i know that it's not going to sell because it's not my own video it's just a video off of the internet but what i'm saying is this is how easy you can upload your own and video nft just as long as you are the owner of the video you are the creator you are the sole creator creator of the video because you don't want to be and countering legal problems when it comes to that point like for example look at charlie bit my finger video that sold for nearly eight hundred thousand dollars and you know what happened guys youtube took down the video because apparently the rights and um uh yeah the, the owner of the video isn't the creator already because it's been it's been sold to a different owner which is in the form of nft and as you may know nft me means non-fungible token so there's only one out of yeah there's there can only be one of those items so it's it's the sole decision of the buyer what to do with the video now yes i don't know when it comes to the viewership the the video has been getting so far on youtube i think that's a different deal right there because youtube is a different platform and the transfer of ownership, I think, doesn't really involve how how it has been exposed to YouTube in the past. But yeah, I think it has something to do with that. So you guys, that's how you can create your own video NFT. Just make sure you have your video and make sure that video is cool. And then just, of course, try to export your videos in this, in this format, MP4, WebM, WAV, this types of performance will do and it shouldn't exceed 100 in megabytes so those are the things that you should take down when you want or take note when you want to edit and create your video for your first nft listing and it's also important to have a video editing software in your laptop or phone right on the go so for me for this video i used wondershare filmora for editing and exporting i've I've uh, personally chosen this because it's really user friendly and it doesn't require a lot of know hows for you to operate this system. This, I mean, yeah, this operating this application so that's it for this video you guys what do you think about my tutorial i think i've 
I've um, made a simple instruction for you guys to understand. Like always, I always show you the easy way. And that's it for this video, you guys. See you again in the next video.